Hi everyone, welcome back to Path of Exile. And uh, we're gonna head out into fucking City of Sarn. This wasn't the City of Sarn? I mean, it's Sarn Encampment. Uh, encampment. So, uh, well, it's actually the, the, the slums. Fucking not really. Good job, Mike. Yeah, well, whatever. Alright, so what, are, what do we have to do now? We gotta go find Tolman and solve the Trials of Ascendancy. Obviously the more important part. Well, we gotta go beat up that man named Azaro. He keeps making fun of us. Yeah, that motherfucker. And sewer grating, it's locked. So we can't go into the sewer grating yet. Oh, shit. Keyboard there. Oh, shit, we're back to the Harbingers. Is it just me, or do we not always see Harbingers every map? They're, they're, they seem to have a, a very... I wouldn't say low chance to spawn, but it's like it's kind of like half the time, maybe like thirty percent or something. Thirty or forty percent. Something. Yeah. No, we don't. We don't see them every time. Okay, I thought it was just me. No. Nope. I mean, they don't. They're not required to spawn. This is mysterious Har harbingers, Rome raid class, and Orioth. <laughs> I like oh, how yeah. they make that distinction now. Oh, well, we, we're no, it's uh, hey, spoilers, spoilers, Mike. We, I mean, we don't know that we go back to Oria I mean, yet. I literally called the fall of Oria like an expansion. Yeah, but you know what? Does that mean we go back? That could mean the the Oria itself falls, and then everybody comes here. You don't know. Jesus. Let me bend your ear, bend your oh, ear for shit. a moment. Oh, there's an arson box too. Oh, double shit. Yeah. All right. Let me take this guy. You've the look of someone spoiling for a fight. Takes one to know one, you see. So here's how this works. You take a crack at me, your very best shot. I make you fight for your life. Like now, I haven't quite decided exactly how. Just be ready for anything. I win, you die. You win, and... I'm not actually sure, to tell the truth. Doesn't happen very often. Are you game? Alright, he wants to combat us. Uh, yeah, sure, we'll fucking begin combat. Oh my god, this man's insane. Basically just threatening to kill us. Also, this is a duelist, by the way. I like how he just does a little bit of everything. Yeah, it's, he has a shit build, I just want to mention. Now that was a proper challenge. Well played, Exile. Well played. Come and have a chinwag with me in the Sun Encampment sometime. I reckon we should get to know each other better. Alright, so he's like a weapon master, so he's kind of nice as well. Alright, do we have anything to roll this fucking chest? I, I don't have anything on me. Fuck, I'll go get something. Can you go grab? Fuck you, asshole. Oh my god. I'm gonna I'm gonna get an orb of chance for that. Uh-oh. I don't want to use my only elk for, for that. Alright, so... Uh, where is it? Okay, so this chest is an artisan. It has kind of has some nice crafting currency, so we'll just uh, try and roll. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> I, I didn't quite anticipate they would roll the one bad mod. Because uh, that had a chance to be a rare, but it wasn't a rare. So that was probably the worst case scenario. I was hoping it would turn into a rare, but no. Alright. There you go. So this oh, is, that's this, really nice. Yeah, this is very nice. We get six additional items from this, so I'll go open her up. It detonates corpses, so we're going to have to stay a little bit further away from all the corpses. It already detonated the corpses. Okay. Does it one time, so uh, there you go. We have now a bunch of crafting currency, which is really nice. Now that's fun. You can have on your feet, Mike. Oh, of course. I'm going up here. You can go fuck yourself. I can go flick myself. Okay. I just know this is the right way. I'm the duelist. It's confidence is everything. It's the right way if you think it is the right way. You know what? I totally don't believe that, but I'm gonna just let you have it. <laughs> and that's hey, hey, look, it's the right way after all. Crematorium. Mike, all those, all roads lead to Sarn. I would have had the right way one way or another. Let's just solve the trial of sun and see. Try this one. So you can hear someone screaming in the background. That's someone who had to play a uh, Pat's Rumbum Quest. 
Dude, that's that's mean, man. You can't do that to a guy. All right. I put a lot of effort, like, Young Pat put a lot of effort into that game, and you're just shitting on it? Really? Rob Bomb's quest. I mean, fuck you. Pat used to be quite the, uh, uh, the, uh, Super Autistic Mario... Autistic little child. The Super Mario World modder back in the day. Shit, we found the other master already? Fuck yeah. Oh my god, Haku was literally just absorbing everybody's time to begin with, I swear. You Dude, four link gloves! Of your time. Oh, is there? Eh. Uh, I didn't see him. Oh. Uh, but They're fucking so blue, fuck that. I wonder I fucking wasn't looking at them. Alright, let's go talk to this guy. Yes, you'll do. Now listen carefully, for I do disdain petition. There are those who live for greater things in the past, and then there are those who just live. One of the latter is out there right now, grasping at our future with greedy little fingers. Kill this selfish malcontent and do it with all possible speed. Though they have deeply disappointed me, I still rather like this particular villain. Make it quick, and relatively painless. Alright, he wants us to assassinate a target within a time limit. And he's pointing down here, so it's actually super close. Yeah, there he well, is. Let's go beat this guy's face in with this man that just randomly told us to go kill other people. I mean, they're exiles. Fuck, yeah, fuck exiles. Oh, dude, it's fucking Eon Graper. Holy shit, he's gonna rape us. Oh wait, no, never mind. He 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 did not do that great, did he? That's not much here. Alright. The tool is sharper than it first appeared. Look for me in the sun encampment should you wish to relieve me of further obstacles. You will be suitably compensated. Ah, yeah, that's it for that. It's Vorichi, and we now have met pretty much every main master in the game, and I got another Amulet, which, yeah, sure, why not? That helmet he dropped, by the way, is actually really not that bad. So the, the Onyx Amulet is all the stats, and what what, what kind of helmet do you drop? It, it, it's good for me. Yeah. I mean, I'm using mine as a three socket. And in the same exact area, we saw the next uh, Trial of Ascendancy. This one has random fucking lava everywhere. We're smarter than Mama, though. Are we, though? I'm not. Uh, oh. I might not be either now that I think about it. I mean, Lava's got that heat thing kind of all figured out. I'm still, I'm still trying to grasp with that. I'm just gonna, I don't even care about Lava. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Pat's gonna have his first death. No, I'll be good. I'll survive. I'll survive. <laughs> I, I came in there and tanked for you. Oh, oh the minions tanked for us. All that health and he's like bragging about it. Tempered by the flames of As I said, I may or may not be smarter than lava. I don't know, it was a close one, let me just tell you that. It really was, but I came out on top. Alright, so the thing we're looking for is a pile of uh, bodies. Uh, which you'll, you'll see when, when we see it. Well, that's, that's the most morbid area. thing to be looking for. I mean, kind of. Well, there's also a guy named KB oh. here, so we'll go fucking kill him. I can't do this just yet. That poor man just got destroyed. Damn, man. Blind circle it. It's kind of it's poopy. I mean, that, that is like a really low-level helmet. It really is. I, I, I thought it was 4-link, but it actually wasn't. Oh, another Ooh, greater life, life loss. There you go. We're going up in the world now. I'm, I'm just gonna drop- I'm gonna drop my level 1 flasks. <laughs> level one. I mean, you know, whatever, whatever level they're at. Oh, here, it is, here it is. This is the this is the pile of corpses we're looking for. Kind of in this kind of room. That somber expression doesn't become those fetching features at all. Cheer up and dance with me. What a lovely woman. Don't be shy, duelist. She would truly make the duelist companion. <laughs> when we all. Alright. Found Tolman's bracelet. Uh, oh, I, I should mention he was dead there. Fuck, I'll just go back and look at it. <laughs> yeah, he, he's... Look at his dead body. Yeah, he's... Look at it! So he was the one screaming when we came in here, and he, uh... He wasn't doing too bad. Nope. Nope, not in the slightest. Uh, I, I don't want to talk to these guys. 
All right, now we can talk to literally everybody. Tolomon's dead then. Another victim of piety's cruelty. Perhaps he escaped lightly. A look upon Grigor to see what life entails under piety's influence. I give you this, in recognition of all that you have done for us. We shall mourn Tolomon's death as we shall treasure Clarissa's life. I got some abilities here. Warlord's Mark uh, gives you some leech on things you hit. That's a curse, which we may get into. Uh, Poacher's Mark is another curse, but we don't do that. I can do hatred now. I don't know if Pat was going to do hatred. I think he was. I, I will eventually. Uh, oh, yeah, of course you are. There's, I will eventually. Hatred is a pretty good... Uh, it's a pretty good... Um, Thing. It's, it's a... It's a how shall I say? Uh, it's it's an aura. It's a, but it reserves fifty percent of my mana. So, uh, so I mean that's that's probably a pretty good option General to go for. General demands absolute obedience from his black arts, meaning he surrounded himself with cowards and lackwits, unable to lift a finger without orders. If you are able, traverse the river and murder Gravisius in his own barracks. You'll be ripping the very mind from the skulls of our enemies. Talakura. Go. I'll miss a boy. He was always up for a laugh, whether it was at his expense or not. But I wouldn't miss that Clarissa more. Hagen's the name, by the way. And it's my honor to welcome you to Dirty Old Son, the metropolis of opportunity. The opportunity to make something of yourself, or the opportunity to have a very messy death. Bring me back something nice, huh? Poor Tolman. I made this bracelet for him when he first arrived here. Idiot said he'd never take it off. I called him a liar. He didn't, though. Not once. I need to give you something. I asked a lot of you out there in the slums. More than I should have. You tried. And that's all we exiles can ever hope to do. I got me some sewer keys. Oh, Watch boy. yourself. I no longer dream when I sleep. I have a nightmare. The same nightmare over and over. The mirror. It's never my reflection looking back. The first time that mirror appeared to me, it was cold I saw. A rapist from Oriath I had the displeasure of sharing a pen with in Gravisius' stockade. Piety took him for her experiments, and that night I saw her handiwork while I slept. This time it was Tolman, flesh dried to leather, organs shrunk to husks, blood trickling through his skeleton like red dust in an hourglass. It's piety's gift to me, that mirror. At least I won't be seeing Clarissa the next time I look into it. Make sure it's not you I see either. I walked halfway across this forsaken continent because of an ode. Of jewels and eternity, it's called. For twinkled promises of jewels and eternity, the Gemling Queen gave her heart and body to the King of Shades for one more day in the sun. The last day in the sun. That's but a portion of the full epic. The Gemling Queen lived, and she's the enigma behind the fall of the Ezomites and the Eternals both. Look to the Solaris Temple to the northeast. Find the Gemling Queen's remains before piety does, and destroy them. Uh, carefully. So you know if you talk to Gregory, he talks about coal, right? He does? I never yeah. actually noticed that. Apparently, um, Cole was the, uh, the, uh, he shared a cell with him. And he got raped by Cole. Are you, are you seriously? <laughs> I, I am not even fucking joking. <laughs> Apparently he was the big bubba of the cell. <laughs> 
Uh, fucking <laughs> shit! I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you guys will see who Cole is a little bit later. God. Yeah, you always called it the big brother of uh, Virtus, but that wasn't actually the case. I mean, that's... I mean, it, 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 it's. I, I didn't mean it literally, but yeah. I mean now. Now he's the big Bubba. Big, big, big fucking brother to fucking Gregor over there. Oh boy! All right, let me talk to Hargan one more time. Victoria was a poet what ended up leading a rebellion, right under the nose of Emperor Chittis. But here's what really interests me. Our wordsmith was quite the talented larcenist as well. Pulled off the heist of the century, in the name of the people, of course. Three finely crafted platinum busts commissioned by Chittis for his favourite trio of generals. Victario and his coppers hold up in the sewers. Now that you have Clarissa's keys, perhaps you'd be inclined to... Search out those heroic busts for me. I'm sure I can make it well worth your while. All right. Stay out of the shadows. So we're supposed to find some busts in the sewers. Ah, oh, here's a good, here's a good axe. All right, I'm gonna buy this one actually. We're gonna maybe craft this one a little bit later, guys. A little bit later. Hello. You know, I still have lightning, uh, that lightning ability that I have not used. Uh, what lightning ability? Lightning uh, strike. Lightning strike. Yeah, I'm gonna put that on. Oh. Yeah. All right, open a TP for me because I, 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 you already did. I'm literally just right outside of town. Yeah. So, uh, okay, open a TP there. Okay. I'm lazy. I, I did it. Jesus. I'm lazy. All right, so we made it back over here. I don't want to walk through that, and we're gonna go back to. Are the you sewers. not gonna be? Are you not running hatred? I, I mean, I don't have the fucking sockets for it. Oh. I, I wish I could. I really wish I could. No, well, I'm running anger and wrath, so we're good. Okay. I will. I will soon. I hope. Oh, it this actually does it on the ground now. All right, so it now, always did it on the ground. All right, now I'm fucking Zeus God of Thunder. I thought you had to hit something. I mean, the lightning strike part has to hit something. No, it doesn't. Okay, I'm, I'm like over here. I can hit. Do damage. Yeah. Does it actually have to hit something? To do damage, the lightning, like the the ground effects, have to. Yeah. No, I, I'm 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 hitting stuff. I think without. No, don't don't go you with are. me for a sec. Fuck. I was gonna like hit the ground and. Yeah, it does do damage. Now you may look. I think at this... we're talking about two different aspects of the scale. Okay, so you may look at the skill and you may think it's not that bad. It probably isn't that bad. The thing I hate about it though is uh, well, it's like, it actually isn't that bad. The thing I hate about it is it's not that bad. I don't know. It, it actually, I, th I, I thought you used to... Uh, oh, Pat found a bust underneath some fucking carpets or something. Um, no, I, I actually thought it was worse than it actually was. It's actually not that bad. I thought they made it at one point, so you actually had to initiate it on something to actually... Like, you have to actually hit something for it to I, properly I don't, effect. I don't know. They might have. Fuck, where's Wild Strike? I need to try Wild Strike again. Where do you get Wild Strike from? Uh, that was Act Two, dude. Can I try that again? I want to try that again. Okay, you know what? Okay, fine. Never mind. We're, we're gonna kill this thing first. Yeah, we're, we're, we're getting we're getting attacked. Just a little bit. Oh, that's it. I was mostly asking you to look it up so I don't don't have to. Oh, okay. Because it's harder for me to do it. Because Wild Strike is another nice little ability. Ooh, Engineer Shard and all that kind of stuff. Alright. Pat says it's Act 2. Actually, no, no, it's not Act 2. It's uh, Act 3. You get it. You will get it later. Oh, will I? Okay. I don't get it now. Watch yourself. Nope. Right, I, I get a lot of. I get Watch basically yourself. everything else. All right. Well, right. basically, because now I want to try that again. <laughs> I, it. I swear that's not how it worked before. I thought I thought you had to hit something. That's the annoying part. Because if you miss or like something else happens, then it's like it doesn't do the lightning effect. It doesn't do anything. Uh, I'm not using this elk. I have a, I have a transmute. Yeah. Well, I, I don't have the. I don't have an aug. I don't care.
I mean, this is lightning strike actually isn't that bad now. I swear it was different before. It's possible it changed. I swear it. What in God's name is that smell? All right, I guess we're going up because this is a giant fucking dead end. Hey, but it had a box in it. It doesn't mean it's a dead end. It just means it had stuff in it. it means something, I'll tell you that. Well, maybe. Oh, uh, but what? There's another one here. Holy shit! Oh, this ow, one actually ow, fucking ow. hurts. Holy shit, he does. I think he's what like, is he? I think it's the the discharge guys because we're killing so much. Yeah, that would. Oh, do and it. he's also summoning more of them. All right, I'm out of here. Fuck. All right, we found our first fucking dangerous oh, kind of main thing. Gloves, and this area up here might be better to fight him in anyway because it's wide open. One second, I'm grabbing portal scrolls so you can't have any. I killed him. Okay, I killed a whole bunch of his shit up there. It's the fire ground he puts in this small hallway, and then those guys that kept blowing up as we killed them just made that really tough, actually. That's these guys, they're the, uh, oh, here we go, silver coin. That'll work. And uh, it's 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 definitely it's definitely those guys because they they explode when you um they they gain p charges when you kill their friends. And here's some shrouded guys. The shrouded one makes means that they're giant fucking fuck this guy. They're a mystery. I open this bash and hey, we got the last one. And now you may be they're saying to nice yourself, class. that was easy. Fucking get the what grand fl uh, grand flask. Oh yeah. shit, the uh, grand high flask. Grand, <laughs> grand high flask. Thank you. You know, we did the actual math on it, and if you know anything about any kind of minerals and shit, you know platinum is expensive as shit. And these are all, like, solid platinum busts. And these things are worth, like, what What, what did we come up with, Mike? The number was, like, $2.8 million for each bust. It was it's I, something ridiculous. I didn't come up with any numbers, and I have no idea what you're talking about right now. The, the, the busts we're finding right now, Mike, they're platinum, yeah. right? Yeah, I know. Platinum is expensive this, as shit. The story you're telling me is something that I was not a part of. You're thinking of someone else. No, you were here with me, you, and Indrazer. Well, I probably ignored you, like I normally do. God, I hate you. Oh, <laughs> uh, hey, it's Katarina. Maybe we'll get her to level three. Alright, she wants us to go down here. Oh, she's thirsty. Oh, here we are. Skellingtons. Hey, that's my job. These things are extremely tanky. Oh, uh, it's because they're like steeped in feckin' corruption. Alright, that's, that's all we need to do. I like how one is like chasing us right now. Come back. Goodbye. I want to be a part of the statue. Oh, we got level three now. All right, so that's a that's a good good thing to do in a moment. Uh, a moment. Yeah, well, we'll. Uh, uh, I'll, I'll show you briefly. So when you get level three on one of your guys, uh, we need to get a waypoint though. So we'll get a waypoint first. Carol's with the obelisk, so they're gonna blow up into a bunch of obelisks that fucking teleport around. I mean, they're really annoying, actually. Super fucking annoying. Oh, Dory Dickman is here. Does he still have the glowy red pe- He does still have the red penis. I don't think that's safe for you two, Mike. We need to get out of this area. I mean, it's literally nothing. It's <laughs> have to say that. Fucking not advertiser friendly. Exactly. So he's got a nice thing where when he blocks stuff, he does like a counter attack on you. With his lightning shield. Yep. Which he's blocking a lot because I have a lot of minions. Well, I can't do this. That's enough minions. Whatever we got, it was totally worth it. That wild leather man. It's just wild. Yeah. These are not mini bosses or anything, they're just like, they're just boss of the area, kind of thing. Like, they're just, they're uniques of the area that are guaranteed to spawn. Alright, let's go back to town for a second then. 
Uh, does anyone else have anything up here for me? No. Oh, Hargan. Yeah, that's right. The Beatles poet could hide his spoils from Chitlis, but not from us, eh? I knew you was the exile for the job. I'm sure you've been more than compensated already from Victorio's stockpiles, but he's a little extra. Care of something I found under a dead man's bed. Why? Just because I like you. Alright, we got a, a passive skill point and two respect points. Truly the greatest. It's a nice book. Alright, so I guess i um, debating if I should try and roll this uh, axe, but I'm not sure now. Because this, this this fucking sword is really hard to beat. Like, it is a very good sword. It's got a lot of damage rolls on it. I'll show you, Pat, what I, what I picked up at some point. What you got now? I'm gonna uh, be put off on that's a pretty good sword, actually, yeah. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to, to really get out of that. Because it just has, like, attack You're speed, right. damage. Stats don't really matter, but you know, what are you going to do? Hey. I guess I'll put Lacerate right back on, just because I can. I kind of want a green slot for fucking... Faster attacks? Yeah. No, for, uh... I mean, it's either that or I... Or I you know, maybe, maybe I'll trade out the boots. I was just considering to fucking... What's I'm, I'm just gonna buy some crappy boots from somewhere. I mean, that could work. Yeah, we'll just take one of these. Random ass boots. Stay out of the shadows. They buy. We're just, we're training up so we can run hatred. Oh shit! That's gonna be such a big DPS upgrade for both of us. I know. All right, so there we go. So now now our fucking skill, our fucking slot is kind of full here. Oh, dude, one more point, resolute technique, guys. I mean, my chance oh, to hit is actually shit. still pretty high. It's 93, but I mean, I'm not investing in crit at all. So, alright, so the first master you get to level 3, what we do is we go to Actuary and she, we can actually create a hideout with them. We'll make an artist out of you yet, Excellent. And she goes, oh hey. Look at it this way. Taken at face. Well, it's basically she wants us to have a hideout in the fucking graveyard. And there you go. Uh, and she gives us a headstone here. But I have, I think, most of this. What the fuck is all this garbage now? This is a new UI. Uh... What, reclaim? Oh. You can reclaim things. So you have benches. So she gave me, um, she gave me headstones. I'll, I'll show you what that is right now. Uh, if I can find it. Sort items by category. I have, this, this dude, this UI sucks. <laughs> Mike, you can't be all so right. hard on it, Mike. You're, you're a developer. You know how hard this can be. All right, all right, here it is, headstones. So I can add it in with the editing, and you kind of use it, and you can... Oh, look, I have a bunch of things I can add to items. So, like, if I want some, like, lightning damage on something, I don't think I can add it to the sword, but I don't know. That's... Actually, what what does it add it to? This is wands and gloves and stuff. Let's say minions have increased life. Oh, I can go and add that if I wanted to, but that would be really bad to do. So, basically, the that's what they do. They actually you add, like, a way me. for you to add... Uh, st uh, you can roll mods onto... Uh, items that and make them even better, kind of a thing. So that's kind of nice. You have a question. I'm gonna get rid of her though, because we don't actually care about Katarina. What we do care about is uh, actually, ironically, Haku and uh, Aurion. So even though they're level two, um, they, at level two they can be invited to our hideout. There's a reason you do this. Um, Basically, they're incredibly useful uh, for like stat related stuff. So, he's gonna give us a blessing font. And this guy's gonna give me a workbench. And so, their mods are actually. I already put down the workbench actually because I had it. Fuck. I'm like reclaiming. I don't even know what that means. Um, so, the blessing font can be applied to amulets and rings uh, to fix stats in a pinch or resistances or add life rolls, uh, which is very, very good. So, this ring, for example. I can add life rolls, but it already has a life mod on it, so I can't actually add it to that one. Uh, this one I could add a life roll to, except it cannot have another prefix mod. There's always some fucking reason why <laughs> I can't roll things. Uh, but yeah, you can, generally speaking, you can most of the time roll things on there, so it's kind of nice. And the armor workbench is basically the same way. On any kind of piece of gear, you can roll life, or you can roll eventually resistances when we level him enough. Um, but, and also, there's I another reason we do exile. that, if Pat, you want to come over here. I'm on my way. Um, and the main hey, reason hey. you do that is you want to do daily missions with them. Uh, and it resets at about, like, 8 o'clock or something at, like, Pacific ESD. time. EST. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what that is in your fucking time zone, but 
Um, if we so start it now, he opens a little portal to another place. We kind of come down here. God bless you on this fine and it has like an eye level close to what we have just because of his level, basically. And then uh, we kind of do another mission here. So this is something that we are going to do basically off screen. I'm not going to really... Actually, there's hatred now I can have. That's how much damage it adds. That's, uh, that's a good amount of DPS. So he's just... Um, so we do the daily missions and they give you like three times experience or something. And very useful uh, to start that as early as you can because uh, I mean the, it makes the later latter parts of the game easier because you know you're you're doing a bunch of uh, you're gonna have a whole bunch of like um, experience with those masters and the, their subsequent benches you can roll more mods onto and more powerful mods. So those are the ones I would honestly recommend. You should have seen them by now, and at some point, hopefully, you at this stage of the game maybe you got it to level three. Who knows? So he just leveled up as well. They also have uh, their own inventories, but that doesn't really come into play until later on in the game. Um, which I'll, sh I'll, I'll, I'll show you where that is. It's like, uh, like he sells some gems and he sells some items, but like these are generally not worth it. Uh, but I'll show you later on what what you can get with them. Uh, but for now, I would say just level up them as as usual. And you'll see, but as I said, we'll be doing this off screen, and that's why we started with Alderaan because Hacker is actually the really fucking annoying one. So I think that's basically it for that. So, anyways, uh, I think we're gonna leave it off here, guys. So thank you very much for watching, and take care. Goodbye. Goodbye, everybody. One, two, three. I think I was talking too fast with that thing. No, I, it's fine. I, I caught the pretty pretty well the general gist of it. Okay, let's just do all of them, and then maybe have a break for some food or something. You sound, sound good to you?